everyone! I'm Matthew Johnson with Elite Singer, and today we're going to be reacting to Marcelito Pamoy, and I'm very excited for this one. He's singing The Prayer, and I remember this going viral a couple of years ago. I listened to it a little bit, but I don't really remember much of the details, and it's going to be fun to dig in a little bit more in depth. So with that being said, let's dive in. Wish 1075. Whoa, that is a gorgeous sound. In watch us where we go. Can help us to be wise. Such great control. In times when we don't know. Not easy at all to do. Lead us to our place, guide us with your grace to a place where we'll be safe. That is just incredible to hear. So, what he's doing is there are a couple of different feminization features you can do in the voice and different masculinization features you could do with the voice, what makes you sound more masculine or feminine. So what he's doing is he's lifting his larynx up a ton to give a smaller vocal tract, and that's going to help him sound a little bit brighter. He's not using quite as big of a mouth shape, so that, once again, he sounds a little bit more feminine. And this also has to do with how much chest voice or how much thickness you have in the sound. And he is singing with the tiniest amount of thickness possible. He's not quite flipping into falsetto, not yet. He doesn't need to with how, uh, where his voice is at this point, where the range is. But he's keeping it just thick enough so he doesn't flip for a very, very nice controlled and feminized sound. That is so difficult to do, and he is doing such a great job with it. This is fantastic. La lucha que tu there we pray go. Will find your light. Nel okay, so I know the prayer very, very well. Here's what we want to be looking out for. He's going to be jumping back and forth between the female and male voice back and forth throughout this whole verse. Try and find his larynx. You'll feel it, well, you'll see it, rather, drop for the male voice and lift for the uh, female voice. Take a look, too, at how he's shaping his mouth. That's also going to give a clue as to what voice he's using. In hold within our heart, I stars go out each night. That's so gorgeous. Stella I, I, I'm like speechless. I, this is such incredible control. Not only can he use both voices so efficiently, but he could jump between them with barely even a second in between. And there's so much changing in the mechanism to make that happen. That is so impressive. I have not heard one singer yet who's able to sing the way that Pamoy is doing right now. It is really incredible to hear. Let's see what he does as he goes into this, I guess we can call this the bridge, uh, as we're going into the song here. Now, I have not heard him yet completely flip into falsetto. He's still hanging on to the tiniest of mixes for his treble voice. So now as the song gets higher, I'm curious to see uh, how he does this. So Yes. 
Okay, wow, that was a really good choice, by the way. So he chose to just sing the lower voice, the male voice, in that uh, little phrase there. It gives him the ability to use more chest voice, whereas the female voice would have to be a little bit lighter. And I think it was the right move for him. He showed off a lot of his strong chest mix quality going through that, more of that operatic style, which is so wonderful to hear. Every once in a while, his tongue pulls back just a touch for some of those E vowels. It adds to a little bit more of the warmth of his sound as he's singing in that lower range. But this is just so great all around. Let's keep on going. We ask that life be kind Hear the silly old churn In waters from above Would you not rob him more? We hope it's so we'll find In torrid and trust her Another soul to love Yes Let this be our prayer Let this be our prayer just like every child, just like every child, need to find a place, guide us with your grace, give us faith so we'll be saved. So, so wonderful, this performance that he had here. Going back and forth through that last verse, it's not easy to sing a solo. And now you have to take these quick breaths and jump back and forth between two voices. Just one of the most difficult things that I could probably imagine. So quickly shifting between those two settings in the voice right there. His amount of control in his registration is sensational. It is out of this world. And we heard a little bit of how he accessed that female voice as he was going right through the ending phrase. Now, knowing this song very well, as he was singing the last couple of phrases, that is completely what the male voice sings until the female voice comes in right at the very last few notes. So he switched back and forth there. He loosened up his male voice just a touch and went halfway between where these two voices are. He took elements from the both and put them together. And it was really fascinating and interesting to see how he navigated those waters throughout the entire performance. Like I said, it is so difficult. It is such a wonderful skill to be able to have. It takes a ton of practice. I couldn't imagine how many hours he spent crafting this, working through his voice, and figuring out how to make these totally different vocal timbres. I'm floored. That was just incredible. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. We will continue the discussion, which I am uh, very much looking forward to do. If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button, and I shall see you soon for the next video. Thank you, everybody.